Well, so we could be talking about the various different types of confusing information or influence. Um, people putting themselves in charge of themselves um, by um, contradicting somebody. For instance, that I'm talking on my cell phone and this guy came over to talk to me, but he was wearing glasses and I said, I'm talking on my cell phone. And he said, okay. So there's, 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 there's one example of the confusing information. You know, but is there some kind of a magic spirit that makes a determination about people if they qualify as people that you have a conversation with? that they qualify as people that you get into the conversation with, like if you're talking to or something, for instance. You know, um, and so lots of interesting things to think about, but with a homeless person in the middle of the night, um, that you are not going to carry it through with that person because you don't have anything to carry it through with that person because you're not one of those people that does that. You are going to carry it with you, okay? Um, and so which train did you think that we were on? Um, the philosophy that, um, that a professional is working as a professional, that he deserves the privilege to return to his childhood and have these con conversations about people contradicting each other as in a professional. And it's really just a kind of a ridiculous conversation that it creates by um, contradicting homeless people or stealing from them, um, whatever they're trying to send a message to that person, for instance, with my shoes, um, or, or something that almost appears to be like a communication, that somebody likes to carry that through that conversation, um, that this does not create that conversation about the professional returning to his childhood, and this does not create this conversation about um, are we um, are we ambivalent, you know, concerning an abusive caretaker? We are not ambivalent concerning those issues, and um, so there's confusing information that people appear to be putting themselves in charge of themselves by talking to other people. And for instance, that we don't know the answer to this question. I was talking on my cell phone, and this man with glasses wanted to know what was going on. And I said that I was talking, I'm talking, I'm talking to my cell phone. He actually went back to doing his own thing. But are we talking about this confusing information? Um, and, 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 and didn't I just get into the, the conclusion that you are not going to carry that through with somebody by stealing from that homeless person? And then you're going to remember who that person is? No by stealing from that homeless person, and then you're going to create a political conversation about professionals returning to their childhood? No. Do you see what I mean? Um, you are going to carry that with you. Okay? You're going to carry that with you, depending on the circumstance. Very easy to understand that it's a homeless person at a great disadvantage um, that... Um, you're talking about something kind of some kind of an experience that you are going to carry that with you, um, and so there's obvious reasoning. For instance, give and take. You know, give and take is an obvious reasoning for that, and um, and uh, so I could tell you give and take, like out on the streets with homeless people or whatever they're doing, and you're not one of those people that does that. You know, give and take is a philosophy that you could use, like with another human being. Like if your ethics and your principles were um, were 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 the most important um, subject in the middle of some kind of an experience in your life that you have going on.